San Francisco, it is one of the cities where you immediately feel at home and you can enjoy yourself for weeks. Are you going to this beautiful city on the west coast of America for the first time soon? Check out what you should definitely do in San Francisco. I'm taking you on another trip today, but before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Biking across the Golden Gate Bridge Biking across the Golden Gate Bridge is one of the highlights in San Francisco. You literally bike through the clouds and then end up in colorful Sosolito. I really recommend renting a bike when you visit San Francisco and biking across the iconic bridge. You can also book an organized bike tour, where a guide will show you the best spots in San Francisco and Sosolito. Take a boat tour under the Golden Gate Bridge. Another unique way to see the Golden Gate Bridge is to sail under it. There are several boat tours offered in San Francisco and on all of them you will sail under this iconic bridge. Visit the prison at Alcatraz Alcatraz Island is also located in San Francisco Bay. Until 1963, Alcatraz was used as a high-security prison. Nowadays, you can visit the island and take a look inside the old prison. Alcatraz can only be reached by ferry from Pier 33 and Alcatraz Cruises is the only company allowed to dock at Alcatraz. I recommend booking your tickets well in advance, as the tours are often completely sold out weeks in advance. Your ticket includes a free audio tour of the prison. The view from Alcatraz off the San Francisco skyline alone is worth a visit. Tip: If tickets to Alcatraz itself are sold out, opt for the special Escape the Rock Canal Tour, where you sail past the prison and hear the same stories about the escape attempts along the way. Chinatown Did you know that San Francisco is home to the largest Chinatown in North America? When you walk through the streets of Chinatown, it truly feels for a moment like you've landed in Asia. Everywhere you look, you see Asian signs and lanterns. Chinatown also offers excellent shopping. Watch the sea lions at Pier 39. A visit to the Pier 39 is also a must during your city break in San Francisco. On this famous pier, you will find a large group of California sea lions that greet you with a lot of noise. From the pier, you can also see Alcatraz and the Golden Gate Bridge in good weather. Besides sea lions spotting, there is much more to do at Pier 39. You will find several stores and restaurants here, and street musicians often perform. Brave the Winding Lombard Street Lombard Street is known as the street with the most curves. There is often a line here with cars and cyclists eager to brave the eight sharp hairpin turns. Cyclists and skaters in particular make quite a show of it. Want to ride the road yourself? Then rent a cool go-car and discover Lombard Street and other top San Francisco attractions in a unique way. The go-car is GPS-guided and tells all kinds of stories about the city and its sights along the way. Union Square Besides the previously mentioned Chinatown, you can also shop well in the Union Square area. Here you will find the more famous American chains like Macy's and Victoria's Secret. Stroll along the beautiful buildings on the steep streets. On and along the various hills of San Francisco, you will find beautiful Victorian houses in all kinds of colors. The most famous row of houses is in Alamo Square and are also called the Painted Ladies because of their cheerful colors. Admire the Palace of Fine Arts The Palace of Fine Arts is a special place that you should definitely visit when you are in San Francisco. You can already see a huge dome of the building from several places in the city. This huge neoclassical structure was built for the 1915 World's Fair. Tips for the Golden Gate Bridge The Golden Gate Bridge is, of course, the icon of San Francisco. Besides the bike tour and boat tour mentioned earlier, there are other places where you can get a good picture of this bridge. This is sometimes quite a challenge. From San Francisco itself, the best views are at the Chrissy Field or at Marshall's Beach, depending on where the fog is. 
When you cross the bridge, you can walk or bike up to the battery spencer, where you can also get great views of the bridge and the city. Is it too foggy at battery spencer? Then walk or bike to the Moore Road Pier to see the bridge from the other side. Take a ride on the cable car. The cable car is an important symbol of San Francisco, and you will see these fun streetcars running at various spots around the city. The cable cars in San Francisco are the last hand-operated cable cars in the world still in use. Visit Sosolito Across the Golden Gate Bridge, you will find the colorful and quaint town of Sosolito. It is the first town you will encounter when crossing the bridge. There are also some nice and unique stores downtown and you can see the beautiful houses along the coast. Sausalito is easily reached by bicycle. Prefer night to bike? Then take the ferry to Sausalito from Fisherman's Wharf or the Ferry Building Marketplace. Admire San Francisco City Hall San Francisco City Hall is often skipped when visiting the city. A shame because it is one of the most beautiful and impressive bow art buildings in all of the United States. The massive city hall occupies as many as two entire blocks of downtown. Relax in one of the many parks. San Francisco has a number of beautiful parks. The most famous park is Golden Gate Park, which is even larger than New York's famous Central Park. Another beautiful city park is Mission Dolores Park, located on the hill of the Mission District. It is one of the city's most popular parks and you will see especially many locals here. Visit the vineyards of Sonoma and Napa Valley. North of San Francisco, you will find some amazing vineyards. The most famous are Somono Valley and Napa Valley. Several tours depart from San Francisco where you will visit some of the prestigious vineries in these regions and learn more about winemaking. Discover the highlights of Yosemite National Park Western America is known for its national parks, and a visit to San Francisco is really not complete without visiting one or more cool natural parks. The closest national park is Yosemite National Park. This is one of the most popular national parks in all of America because of its beautiful green valleys, several waterfalls and impressive mountain ranges and viewpoints. Tip: If you have limited time, you can book a day tour to Yosemite from San Francisco and see the highlights of the park in one day. Wander through Moore Woods National Monument A lot closer to San Francisco, you will also find an impressive nature preserve. Indeed, across the Golden Gate Bridge lies Muir Woods National Monument, just a 30-minute drive from San Francisco. In this nature park, you will find ancient redwood and giant sequoias. You feel so small when you walk past these giant trees. Take a road trip on Highway 1 San Francisco is located on Highway 1, also known as the Pacific Coast Highway. This road takes you along some of the most beautiful coastlines in the world. Even if you have less time, I recommend renting a car at San Francisco for at least a day and driving part of Highway 1. San Francisco is another fantastic city in America that is definitely worth a visit. I hope my tips will help you have another great city trip. Don't forget to subscribe and like and see you on the next trip.